quality. Go Bob Pot and Steel. Good afternoon, folks. This is Bob Studebaker with Go Bob Pot and Steel here. And I want to welcome you to the grounds of the Happy Acres Cowboy Church. Happy Acres is a Christian ministry led by Dr. Mike McGee. These grounds house a church, a school for troubled youth, and an indoor arena. Now they have a spanking new outdoor arena. We are blessed to bless them with the materials to build it. So they honored us by naming it the Go Bob Arena. To tell the truth, I was really elated when Dr. McGee asked me to help with the materials, and I'll tell you why. I've been trying to get the word out, probably for a couple of years, that folks are money ahead if they build their corrals and fences out of steel, square, and rectangular tubing. I thought what a great way for lots of people to see it in use, to see how good it looks, see how it stands up to pressure, and even talk to some of the people that built it. The bottom line is that a corral built out of steel tubing can almost be built for half the price of the cost of a pipe corral or fence. How you say? Well, there are four big reasons. Number one, build it in half the time with half the labor. There's no saddling to do, no torch work to do. Just make your cuts with a chop saw and weld it up. It's that simple. There were two contractors that worked on this corral, Mike Brown and Butch LeMay. Both will tell you they could not believe how fast it went, and both will tell you it took about half the time they thought it would. Number two, foot-to-foot, material cost averaged 25% less. For example, if you were to compare new two and three eighths schedule 40 pipe to new inch and a half by two and a half by three sixteenths rectangular tubing, it would weigh about 16% more, but it would cost 39% less. Number three, squares and rectangle tubing are stronger than pipe. Yes, a foot of steel tubing almost always contains more steel than a foot of pipe. The square and rectangle shape makes it stiffer, harder to bend, and increases the yield strength by an average of 25%. And number four, you're going to use fewer posts. Because square and rectangular tubing posts are stronger than pipe, you will space these posts out up to 12 feet instead of 8 feet. Posts are the most expensive part of your fence if you stop and think about it. Not only do you have to cut them, pipe posts have to be saddled. All posts have to be driven, or you drill a hole and use concrete. You will use up to 40% fewer posts if you use square and rectangular steel tubing. Anyway, thanks for listening today, and I encourage you to think inside the box in this case, box tubing that is, and call my guys and let them help you design a fence that is stronger, for sure more attractive, and a whole lot cheaper than pipe fence. Are you thinking about using vinyl fence? I wouldn't. (laughs) But if you don't want to hotwire to keep the livestock in, or you don't want to worry about grass fires, let my guys show you how to get that look for less money, and my fence will last forever. They can even tell you how to build your own continuous fence that is stronger, better looking, and costs less too. Don't put it off. Call us today. And I appreciate your time, and I appreciate your business. Thank you. Go Bob, you go quality. Go Bob, fire and steel. Go Bob.